Hello fellow unicorns, welcome to another video and today I have decided to make a video based on something you guys suggested and that's what's in my pencil case video because we all know that really good expensive high grade gear is what makes you a better artist. No way. Um, it's back to school season so it's prime time to see if I can give you some pointers on stuff that might be useful to you and stuff that you might not actually need so this is my super big big booty huge um, pencil case which is kind of almost empty because I don't need that many supplies actually and most artists do not either so um, this is actually not a pencil case. This is um, a makeup bag from Primark with Pusheen on it, as you can see. So it's a unicorn Pusheen, of course. And what I have inside is just something that I use every day. So, for example, I have a pair of scissors. I don't know if this is like good for bringing to school because I remember having mine stolen all over all all of the time during. Um, my school years. So, uh, I think we should start with this uh, most basic and like shockingly enough, the only thing that you actually need for coloring. Uh, I know that a lot of people uh, would literally sell their own kidney for Copics and stuff like that. I get so many comments about my Copic collection, uh, if Copics make you a better artist or not, blah 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 blah. And what I have to say is just get uh, something like this, which is a better grade travel watercolor set and you are set uh there are even not like expensive uh, paint brushes you can use because i use the, the the cheapest ones possible i bought in a china made store and they work like a charm you just need to uh, experiment a little bit and see if the quality uh is acceptable for you and what you do so yeah this is basically all that you need you do not need copics copics are just super expensive and impractical if you're not earning from your art so you can invest more in expensive gear but these will do the trick so yeah this is my coloring uh, i'm just gonna put it away uh, so what else do we have uh, so regarding my pencil and uh, just a reminder guys uh, everything I mentioned here is listed down below under my video uh, you have links for absolutely everything I use including Copics but yeah you should probably um, search for Copics that are cheaper maybe used something like that something that's more practical for your budget in any case I'm using this generic silly looking green ugly pencil with a uh, lead tip which is something I would kind of recommend to everybody because it's more durable uh, I guess like there's a ton of different pens to choose from and this is a technical pen and th the part of this pen that I actually like the most is the little eraser bit here and it's awesome for when you're doodling and you have some errors you want to get fixed real quick before you like reshape a face or something like that so this is definitely something that is my favorite part and i really go through it quite fast sadly um and the technical pen is well easier i guess especially if you are using good uh refills and this is the main part like you can have a cheap pen but refills might be something that you want to invest in when you're planning your art because uh, everything is in the sketch like everything is in how you put everything i don't know personally for me for my own brain um the most important part of making an art piece is in the planning in the sketching in the setting up and that's the part that i personally do in pencil i don't know if you guys already have like fancy ipad pros or whatever but paper and pen is my mango mango to thing i guess so in any case um the my personal favorite is this uh neox graphite by pilot 
Pilot is definitely one of my favorite brands ever. Um, their gener gener generic 0.5 HB refill is all you need. It's versatile, it's useful, and uh, one, pa uh, one pack of these can last me up to several years. So, I have nothing else to say about that. Uh, the next part, yeah, when people are drawing manga, they are always like super hyped um, and always like asking me, so do I need this super special expensive zebra ink from Japan and um, G, uh, G pen and whatever? And I'm like, no, you need a regular cheap ass CD marker because it will do the job. <laughs> I mean, for the line art itself, I have stopped using G pens for like years, years ago because I, I am a clumsy person. I can literally mess up everything, my hands are shaking, and I just can't really uh, control the G-Pen that well. That's why I have my own personal favorite, and this is a Uni-Pen. It's a black Uni-Pen. Oh, uh, this is marked because it uh, belongs to my uh, classroom. I accidentally um, <laughs> kind of snagged it. I need to return it <laughs> in any case. Uh, this is 0 0.1 Uni-Pen, and it's phenomenal. It's made by Mitsubishi um, and you can find it in many art supply stores really cheap. One will last you for a lifetime, I like for several months at least if you're actively drawing. And to fill in all of the black areas you can literally just use some generic CD marker. This is a whiteboard marker. I just grab whatever I have with black ink inside because it's good. It'll do good. Especially when you scan it and then you literally um, fill in the blanks, filling the, the black areas with some photoshopping and voila, you have a perfect black and white manga panel. So nothing... So the most expensive part, I will, I'm about to show you the most expensive part of my toolkit and that is my very own guilty pleasure by Pilot, it's called uh, Futayaku, uh, which means double pen or something like that, I forgot, like it's Kuretake Futayaku. Uh, it's listed down below. So what this does is a professional grade um, line tool. It has a thicker part and a thinner part and they are both flexible. You can literally use them as a miniature uh, brush tips and they work wonders. You can do calligraphy, you can do comic book lines, they are perfectly crisp and clear and this is my go-to most favorite top ever type of pen. Um, I can't live without this pen as a professional that works like all day long. This pen is producing so many good results but as I said it's an expensive pen so you're not um, obligated to buy it. You can just use any other uh, fine liner and just work with that. Uh, let's see what else I have here. Yeah, I have a shoe glue because, um, well, there's always cosplay stuff to glue, so why not have a shoe glue anywhere where you go, I guess. And I'm going to be really cliche and I'm going to show you the, the thing you have seen in anime so many times. And that is the Mono Eraser. And I have to be a complete brand peep and uh, say that this is the best eraser I have ever used in my life. It's perfect. Uh, it just perfectly erases all of the sketches. I can literally erase my entire page of sketches with like few sweeps of this. It doesn't even leave a residue or anything. It's the perfect eraser, but um, it's not really available to everybody in every country. So what I recommend as an European um, replacement, it's this exam grade by Stabilo uh, black eraser. Uh, I have used this before I discovered mono erasers and black erasers are actually really cool. Uh, they look cool and they do not leave excess um, crumps 
well, how crumbs, I guess, like whatever this residue is. So black erasers are actually quite cool. You can find them in any art store. And the last two things, because uh, yeah, everything is like empty here, except for this little washi tape. I use washi tapes to um, hold my papers in place when I like trace lines from my sketches to my line arts or when I need to stabilize my art for videos. So yeah, it's always useful. And the last, but definitely not the least, uh, two of my favorite tools for finishing touches and repairing errors and mistakes and whatever. My English is not really good today. Um, are the whiteout pencils and I have been talking in my previous videos about whiteouts you can find them in my tutorial section uh, these are something I can use on the go I don't need water I don't need any special brushes or anything no cleaning required um, I have used uh, the generic uh, white jelly roll pen for many years and now I have found this uh, Chinese knockoff I actually bought them in bulk from a Chinese website like I, I bought 20 pack for like something like ridiculously cheap it's called touch new I guess this touch company is knockoffing everything but the quality is actually really good I'm really satisfied with this knockoff white jelly roll and uh, this little thing from a German pro production company, uh, Graphmaster I'm actually their spokesperson for their line of uh, fine liners Graphmaster is producing like the best white acrylic marker I have ever seen. Uh, I use it to color big white areas or fix certain parts and it's just amazing. So uh, white acrylic paints in a form of a marker will save you uh, if you need to fix a uh, manga panel illustration, do special effects, or even like for cosplay. So it's all very useful and I really hope you found these um, tools interesting. Uh, as I said, I will not be talking about some super fancy tools because I don't use them. I use them only for special occasions or when I'm commissioned to do special art with like gold paints or Copics or something like that. But for regular drawings and for uh, regular sketches that I do most of the time and manga panels, I'm using these tools that I showcased to you and I have linked them all down below so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions suggestions or wishes for the next videos keep me updated I'll see you next time Mwah. bye bye I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you would like to learn how to draw manga please check out my book manga crash course available in four different languages as well as my latest book manga crash course fantasy